One week of the month, we take time to receive communion together as a home church. And this is something that, that you're going to do in your specific uh, church today. And we're also doing this together collectively as Oasis Home Church uh, this weekend. And taking time to reflect on communion uh, is a perfect fit for the message today on fellowship. In fact, the Greek word for fellowship, it's the word koinonia. And it not only means fellowship, but also it can mean communion, believe it or not. So when we are receiving communion, uh, you know, we're doing that together. There is a sense of fellowship or partnership that's taking place. You see, we're, we're unified in our need for Jesus to save us and our desire for him to work in our lives. And the table, I know I've said this before, but the table is a great leveler. It doesn't matter who you are, where you've come from, how long you or I have been following Jesus. We all equally need him to rescue us. And in 1 Corinthians 10, verses 16 and 17, it says this, When we bless the cup at the Lord's table, aren't we sharing in the blood of Christ? Again, this idea of fellowship. When we break the bread, aren't we sharing in the body of Christ? And though we are many, listen, we all eat from one loaf of bread, showing that we are one body, right? That idea of communion and fellowship. So that's what we're going to reflect on as we receive the elements today. And Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he took a loaf of bread. And I've got here a wafer. You may have something different where you are. But he took that, that bread and he broke it. He said, this is my body that is given for you. And what I love about the bread, it's not the flavor, okay, this thing is gross, but it's, it's that it reminds us that we have a God that isn't distant. A God that didn't want to steer clear of the mud and the muck that we all find ourselves in. But in Jesus, God came close. He came into his creation. And as Jesus hung on the cross, he did so in a body like you and me. Just because he was God didn't mean he didn't feel the pain of every lashing every nail driven into his body, the crown of thorns on his head. And he did that for you and for me to take on our sin and our shame. Okay, let's pray as we, as we reflect on that and we'll receive the bread together. Jesus, we thank you for your body. The fact, Jesus, that you came for us. God, you didn't steer clear of the mess we were in, but God, you came right into the middle of it. The word became flesh. And so Jesus, we say thank you for your body that you gave on the cross for us. You took our place. Let's receive the bread together. It goes on to say in the same way after supper, he took the cup, the cup of wine that would have been uh, done at the end of that Passover meal. And I've got here some juice. And he said that this cup is a new covenant between God and humanity. Okay, not one of law, but one paid for in blood. And Jesus' blood shed on the cross. You see, he was poured out. He was emptied to the point of death. And yet what was most painful was the sin of humanity that was placed on him. Even when he was offered sort of a typical sedative for those facing crucifixion for the pain, Jesus refused. He needed to bear the full weight of our sin, of yours and mine, and he did so willingly. That's the kind of God that we serve, who removed every barrier between us and a restored relationship with the Father. Let's pray and we'll receive the cup together. Jesus, we thank you uh, for your blood that was shed on the cross. You see, that blood, that, that life blood was the payment for sin. And Jesus, you fully paid it. You paid it down to the last cent for, for me, for us, for all of humanity. So will we not forget that, that we have been purchased? We've, we have been bought. Our lives have been restored in you. And Jesus, we want to honor you. We want to live our lives in, in response to what you've done for us. So thank you that you have made a way for us to be brought into the family of God. Okay, let's receive uh, the juice together. As the Apostle Paul says, uh, as often as you eat the bread and you drink the cup, he says that we, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's not forget 
what Jesus has done for us.